Welcome back guys for another restoration video where I attempt to restore this Matchbox number 45 BMW 3.0 CSL and take it from shabby to shiny. I have three of these little cars and only one still has the sticker on the bonnet there. I won't be putting this sticker on. I consider what I want the car to look like if it were in real life and I just wouldn't drive around with a great big BMW badge on my bonnet. Now I don't know whether this is a common issue but with this car all three of these the A-pillar posts are broken. This car, well, it's come away. But all cars have broken. This one here is the best of the bunch. And I've decided this is the one that today I'm going to restore. So we all know the drilling methods here. Drill down the post, taking off the flange. Tap it with a bit of 3 one oil in a nice vise. And there we are with the screws intact. And then the car itself. Nice little detail on the inside of the doors. But just considering what to do with these posts and you can see it's cracked through on both sides. Actually, I think this car, it was just this one side. It was maybe just the paint on the outside that was cracking. But what I did, so just pulled it out a little bit and added a little bit of super glue just so that in the future it wouldn't move any further. Looking at the base, has some nice detail with the front lights and the rear lights. And thinking to myself, this also needs a wheel change because these are old and worn. It was only at this point that I realised the windscreen was had a crack in it. And of course I've got two other cars so I wasn't too fussed and also with the same with this interior it was a little bit of bust but actually a little dab of glue and that was fine so this is the second car that I take, uh, took the windshield out of and it's in very good condition and actually the base was better on this second car too so I swapped that out as well the wheels on this car were in much worse condition and they had to be removed. So with my hobby tool I just ground it out a little bit so I could pull the axles as you can see here and then with, again with my hobby tool but this time with the wire brush and then followed by a little car polish with a buffing tool the base came out very nice and looked forward to adding a little bit of detail. So it reads Matchbox Superfast number 45 BMW 3.0 CSL made in England 1976 Les New Products and Co. So we use the caustic soda method for paint removal. Be sure to wear your gloves. It's very toxic stuff. And actually, whoops. And actually, after a few minutes and probably four or five teaspoons of this stuff, the paint just didn't want to come off. It's nearly there, but just not quite there. So I thought, well, if I use the wire brush it would all come off right 
wrong. There were some real stubborn paint here, so I thought, okay, let's go for round two in the caustic soda. And round two certainly stripped that paint off. So, thumbs up from me. With a little go over with a wire wall. Looking good as new. But you can see that post there. So this is this is the point where I massaged it out a little and then dabbed a bit of super glue on the inside. And then once dry. Go with a, a coat of primer. I'm told they never prime them in uh, in the beginning, but I feel just a little. Even if you just do one little light coat, it's got to be better than nothing, right? So using Tamiya X6 Orange acrylic with a two to one ratio with X20A thinner. Starting off with a light dusting. You'll notice that I start to paint whilst off of the car and then finish whilst off of the car. So this is to eliminate any potential uh, splatters that may occur. Of course, they could be throughout, but this just reduces any chance of any splatters. I gave four coats of paint with 10 minute dry time in between each coat. The last layer being the thickest and slowest in order to get that shine. So whilst that dries, go onto the sugar soap, clean up the windscreen, clean up the interior. And then with the windscreen, a little dab of car polish, and then go at it for a couple of minutes. Good as new. So moving on, I borrowed this Chinese copy car from my son's toy box. Don't worry, he has hundreds of cars too. But these wheels looked 99%. You need, you need a you need, you need to be one of us to to really spot the difference. But to anybody else, these wheels not only were they the same width, same uh, depth, same everything as the originals. So I added a little paint to the front on the headlights there and the number plate just underneath that you didn't see but this is what I really enjoyed a little bit of orange uh, paint that white was paint the yellow was paint the actual red there was uh, pen would you believe and that's how she come out lovely lovely gloss So for the reassemble, put back the glass, pop back the interior. And now let's button down the base. And as a reminder to how she looked. 
and the result. And you can still see that little crack in the A pillar there, but other than that, very happy. Nice little detail in the front lights there. Super happy with those wheels. Uh, one of my children keeps asking where his little race car is. I uh, try and ignore that question. But for me, the best result was the rear. The colour in the rear, I thought, come out really well. And going, going forward, I will certainly try and attempt to put in some more details like that. I know it didn't come on the original, but this is my car, and I like those painted in areas. So thanks again, guys. I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and hopefully you'll stick around.